Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Well, you know what? Today is Tuesday and you know what I've been doing on Tuesdays? I have been sharing all the wonderful goodness things that I have been finding. Okay, so it's really just one thing recently. I'm doing blanket squares. You're like, why do you want to do blanket squares? I don't know. It seemed like a good idea, right? And there is a designer on Ravelry. If you're not familiar with it, her name is Anne Rigord, and she is doing one blanket square a week, all 52 weeks of the year, and she is giving it away free for the first week. And guess what? It's free today. It has been free since the 8th of April, going all the way until the uh, 14th of April. So one week and it's Paris time. So what that means is if you're in the United States, don't wait till the 14th because you might miss it by the hours, right? Um, so yeah, so it's a really exciting. Let me show you square number 15. Holy cow, 15 of them now. Look at that. I think that is so pretty. I mean, what a monumental effort to do that. So, you know, of course, I started it. I have so far, I have 10 of these done. 10. And I'm using worsted weight yarn and size 8 knitting needles. And they're coming out big. I mean, they are coming out really big. There are 46 rounds of pattern in each square. And then you do a garter. Uh, border on it. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. So this square, just like last week, is going to be yellow. And the reason I was saying that is I'm using the um, Big Twist Value yarn. I mean, you can't beat it. It's economical. I have a Joanne in my area, so it's easy to get a hold of. Your mileage may vary. I mean, you know how that goes. But, uh, and I've been getting them on sale, right? I mean, regular price is $4.49. And I've been getting them anywhere from 209 to about 250 depending on the sale, per skein of yarn. So that's super economical. I mean, I, I like yarn of all ranges. Let's put it that way. I like a lot of yarn. Depends on what it's used for. So if you're not familiar, I'll go over it. Specs are 380 yards, uh, 6 ounces, 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. Value acrylic. Got it. So I'm doing mine in this yellow. I just hit to where I had to put it on my circular needles. Can you see this? This is like a little cable. And look at that, like a little helix cable right here. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. So I did do that one, right? So I've got that first set of crossings on that. You can, yeah, there you go. You can see it spread out like that. Really nice, simple, easy. I think I'm on round um, 16 or so. Like I said, there's 46 rounds of pattern. And then you get into that garter stitch on the edging and it's done. These are so pretty. I just love it. It's that, you know, so happy. Look at that. Look at that yellow. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Where to put the other one? I don't know. Do I have the word? I don't know. I did a yellow one last week too, and it's around here. Oh, there it is. Last week's 14 was here. And it needs to be blocked a little more. I lightly blocked it, but there you go. And that's why I'm doing this one because I can get two squares from the one skein of big twist and you see these right now it's about 16 and a half inches slightly blocked there you go and what i'm planning on doing we'll see on using the bright colors here's my orange ones right i want to put these i have four of these done not in this I, this this i love this square but i have four of these in this bright orange that's the name of it by the way that's the color name but i have four like this and what i want to do this one by the way this was the fastest one for me to make absolutely the fastest i think i got it done in like two days something like that all the other ones have taken longer i love this one this is just absolutely stunning so my whole goal is to make these bright, beautiful blankets for Camp Boggy Creek and donate them. And then, I mean, since the squares are so big, um, I'm thinking of different ways to put them together because right now we're 16 and a half inches, right? And I've already got it in my head. I mean, I've been talking about this for a while of what I want to do and I want to crochet. Okay, so obviously the squares are knit. But if you've been around for a while, you know I do both. I knit and I crochet, right? You know, I learned to crochet first. Um, I learned to crochet over 40 years ago. So I got that part down. I can I can crochet with the best of us, right? You know, I, I got it. I know how to do the stitches. And uh, so I want to do 
that mix because not everyone does the mix of both knit and crochet and I want to kind of my my uh, picture in my head is to have the four quadrants all with this bright orange obviously they all have different patterns just dropped it they have different patterns on them different knit patterns and I want to connect it with crochet and I want it to be super bright and happy and something that a child will gravitate towards and just absolutely love so I've got things dancing in my head do you want to see what I've started so I started bordering the first one look at that and you're like yes yeah, dull no it's not dull oh my gosh I have so many things in my head so right now I just have this this particular square bordered in that purple uh I think it's called grape it's another big twist right and you'd be surprised how much that used right I did uh one round of single crochet and then two rounds of double crochet and I want to do all four of them like that and connect them and then I'm gonna do some crazy stuff and uh, it's I'm excited. Oh my gosh, it is percolating in my head. I'm going to pull out some of my books and everything, some different embellishment books. Oh, I'm going to go all out. There's no doubt. And, you know, whether I do it for every single one, I don't know. But right now, it has been nagging at me and I have to make it happen. And since I've been telling you about it so much on how I'm going to go ahead and add crochet. Oh yeah, you keep talking, lady. You keep talking about adding your crochet. Oh yeah, I did it. So this is the knit square with crochet on it. And I will crochet them together, you know, getting all four together. So the whole thing is like a picture frame. How do I decorate the frame? Oh, it's going to be something. And I, again, I have ideas in my head. So right now, I guess it kind of looks Halloween colors, but I just want bright. And I'm going to add some, um, probably just a really pop of blue, some hot pink. I love that color. The slime green It's one of my favorites. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, uh, Lynette from uh, Charm Granny. Uh, she's working with this making an amigurumi right now with the bright orange and she's using the slime green and she's got some other things and I'm like oh right up my alley I love it right because that's what I like to do is just these these pops this this something that just you know little kids will just go oh and just start getting all crazy that's that's my game right there and um this I got so excited putting that purple on there because right now it's coming to fruition. It's going from um, in my head to working on it. So obviously I have to do these these three to get it together and then I can start doing all the other stuff. I'm probably going to make some other stuff too. I don't want to tell you yet. I'm kind of want to surprise you. Yeah. You know, go ahead and tell me what you think I'm going to do down below. I've already got things in my head, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing if I can make it look the way that it looks in here. <laughs> you know how that goes? Do you do that? Do you have an idea that'll just kind of um, wake you up in the middle of the night, so to speak, or or, or just kind of nags at you until you finally make it happen and you put it into fruition? This is exciting, right? I've got, I've got this gorgeous yellows going on. I think I'll, I can do the same thing with the yellows. Um, and then once I get the first one done, help me with the colors because my first one I, like I said I've got 10 of these squares completed right now but I didn't do all of them in the bright orange I love the bright orange or those bright colors I did the other ones you know I've got this is my first yellow one got the second yellow one right there I've got some dark reds and you know some darker colors uh, but you'll know what I'm getting at on four of these takes up so much space this right now spread out flat and everything it's about 20 inches by the time I uh, attach them I will have four of them and it will be at the 40 by 40 square for Camp Boggy Creek the blanket measurements if you want the child to be able to take it home they have to meet certain parameters and that's 35 to 40 inches wide and 40 to 50 inches long so if you make a square your sweet spot is that 40 by 40 right so um I'm, I'm kind of excited that I have a 20 inch square right now. That's pretty cool. Oh, I used a size H. I don't remember the millimeter for size H um, because I just, I grew up, we used the alphabet letters, right? But I used a size H crochet hook and I knit this on a size eight 
uh, knitting needle. So that's what I ended up doing. I don't think it's curling. I mean, yeah, when I'm holding it like this, it looks weird, but it lays flat really nicely. Uh, it's a beautiful square. When they're together, that purple is going to be, you know, double the length and it's going to be a gorgeous frame. I got some ideas. We're going to have some fun with that. If you, for those that remember, uh, for the ones that I sent out for, um, Camp Boggy Creek for this last year and well, a few months ago, there was a blanket that I had that I wanted to sew little cars on, right? I had all these little cars and these little trucks and everything. And I was on one of the lives where you had some of the representatives from Camp Boggy Creek. And they, they said that they would prefer me not to sew things on there along that line. So I can't sew things on, but I can do some other crazy stuff. So stay tuned for that to see what's happening. I have a canvas now. I have a canvas. I'm like an, like an artist that just got a new pack of those, those blank canvas things that I don't know what to do with those. I swear to God, I do not know what to do though. Those, those just, that, that's like the cursor on a computer just staring at you going, haha, you don't know what to do. You know, that's that. But this to me, fires. This I know what to do with, but it's like that blank canvas and it's there and I'm just excited and I'm ready and it's growing. Yes. Oh my gosh. How exciting. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So maybe I can start working on, uh, bordering the next one, or at least making that square, that yellow square a little bit bigger. Cause you know, that's a bit, I've been doing one a week now for a while. I mean, this is square number 11 for me. Cause I, I missed four of them. I didn't start it at the beginning of the year. I have the patterns. I just haven't done those four since I didn't start then. Uh, but I've been consistently doing one a week. And uh, for those of you that are not in your collecting, hey, more power to you. I am not judging at all. Collecting patterns is a hobby. It really, really is. So join me in collecting the patterns. If there's one that just sings to you, make it. You don't have to make all 52. You know, um, the two that sing to me the most, this one right here, like I said, this was the easiest one. This right here was the fastest for me to make. And then the other one that sings to me is right here. I mean, I, I like the others too, but you know how we have the gravitation, you know, we gravitate towards different things. This, I, I, I like the way that it moves. I like everything about it and it flew off the needles. So even if you don't decide that you want to be crazy like me and make all of these squares or, you know, until I don't want to make all the squares, we know how that goes. Um, pick one you like and, and, you know, collect them until one comes along that just sings to you. And when that one sings to you, make as many of them as you want to. I mean, if you use worst weight learn yarn like I am, they're big squares. You don't need a lot of them. So that's a bonus. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.